Family friend connected them with a contractor so all of the work that needs to be done on their home won't cost this family a thing. Meet Charlotte Coe, two years old and full of life. She's so happy. She's, she's happy, outgoing. And, she's a, a um, light yeah. in everyone's world. Charlotte started getting sick when she was around six months old. We found out that she has a rare genetic disease called nephropathic cystinosis. Charlotte needs daily doses of medicine and supplements, as well as frequent trips to Boston for tests. Her mom, Megan, left work to be 24-hour caregiver. Life-changing. Yeah, it's yeah. been very challenging, but it's our new normal. I can't imagine what they have to go through and they shouldn't have to go through it alone or feel like they're alone. The Coes have several home repairs they need done, especially now that they're expecting baby number two any day now. But those seemed out of reach on one income. Close friend Amanda McKim got in touch with Chuck Wood of Colonial Builders. When I met them, I was just blown away at how generous they were and nice and good. Um, then I met Charlotte and had to do something. Chuck took a look at what needs to be done and handed the family an estimate for zero dollars. It was amazing. It was <laughs> overwhelming and yeah. wonderful. We were speechless. Chuck and several other contractors will donate their time and labor. So we're all coming together to put it back to where it needs to be. To cover the cost of materials, Amanda started a GoFundMe page called Charlotte's Village. Dozens already stepping in to donate and be a part of that village. The community has really rallied behind us and, um, and behind Charlotte and been very supportive and it gives us a lot of hope for her future. Starting September 4th, while all the work is being done on their home, the Coes, including their soon-to-be newborn son, will be put up in a cabin. Reporting in Webster, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.